Periscope. Why do you hate me so much? Alright, well this scope is just for whoever was in my last scope and Periscope really booted me out. And I didn't want anybody to think I was just kind of like, bump and out there. Periscope hates me. <laughs> it doesn't hate me. It has its issues. I was just going to come back to say I appreciate everybody who followed me today. Yep. <laughs> so, yeah, Periscope is being a poopy head today. I just kind of want to finish blocking in this. Just going, I need to write it for Ben, it's going. Ben, make dinner. Who's gonna... <laughs> Tell them all for me. So I just came back so I wasn't like, you know, just rudely moving it in. Yes, it is. Oh. So can you picture me? <laughs> Look at you, see? I used to love it. My my one neighbor was like in my in Cleveland was like this big rocker person. And, you know, I was this mom, had three kids, uh, drove, you know, carpool the whole you know, the whole deal. And the one day I was driving down the street with my windows open, and <laughs> he came over later that day when his kids were over, and he's like, I couldn't believe that was you! <laughs> and I'm like, what? <laughs> I'm not allowed to listen to... Oh, I grew up in the 80s! I grew up in the 80s, you know? <laughs> Give me a break! I wasn't always, you know, a mom. <laughs> Seems like it some days, but not always. Let's see, this is going to need to be lighter. I need that to be lighter. Because it's going to blend in too much. So this needs to be a lighter. Alright. So... Yeah. So I used to, I used to, um, surprise people with my variety of music choices. Because, yes, I like jazz music. Yes, I do even like showed Broadway music or, you know, different, um, different things. I want this to be bigger. It'll go a little faster. But, I also like heavy metal music and hair bands. <laughs> oh, I love this. Let's see, here's Journey. Mystery. I'm going to sing, sorry. Good can hurt so bad. Try not to sing too loud and ruin it. <laughs> so I'm just going to finish this skirt anyway, Arcade, and then I just want to block this in a little bit for the sheer stuff so I can see where I'm at. 
And then I have to go put my chicken. Mar Marilyn? What is that? I don't know. Is that a band? I haven't heard of them. I don't know what just happened here. This stuff just got... Oh, it just connected itself. Hi, Jeremy. I'm almost done right now. I'm going to go make dinner in a little bit. I'll be back later, though. Okay, I'll have to look them up. My husband probably knows them. Oh, my dog's out there crying. It's ridiculous. So I'm just kind of going for... Nice handwriting. Oh, Jeremy, the other one crashed, and Periscope is so great that it just lets it like hang up there. What I'm doing is just trying to create these um, these lines right now to block it in for me, and then I need to put a roasted chicken in the oven. It's been marinating in its um, little prep. <laughs> it's been uh, e marinating in its uh, olive oil and seasonings for a few hours. And it's going to take a couple hours to roast. So I need to go and put that in the oven so the family has sa Sunday dinner. And then I'll be back in here. I think I'm going to watch and watch some Periscope myself. So if you're going to scope, I'll come watch you guys and support you just like you did for me. And I'm going to catch people's replays and um, work on my social media. And um, I think I have to figure out what I'm going to post for Inktober today. So do a little mini sketch or something. I don't know. I'm going to figure it out. The Inktober thing's tough. It's like... You know, on the days when I babysit and I'm not by my computer, I have all the time to, like, sketch. And then on the days I'm home, my days just go, woo, so fast that I'm like, really? I'm home, you'd think I have all the time in the world, but I don't. <laughs> the two days a week I'm home, it's all laundry and dishes and dinner and try to do some art and scoping for my groups and, oh. What's for dinner? Luckily, my kids are, like, getting it a little bit. That mom is not at their beck and call anymore. You're a grown-up. Thank you. But, you know. It is. It's kind of crazy. Well, I had, my, I had three sons living here. Now I only have two. So I have two grown sons who live here, and they go to school, and they work full-time, and whatever. I have a husband, I have two dogs, I have a house in the yard. I work three days a week. We have, This summer we've been gone because we have a boat. Um, <laughs> it's just always something. Always something going on. Next weekend... My son, whose room I just stole, is coming into town with, um, <laughs> Inkto I don't, I'm not following the words of the day. I'm just doing whatever I feel like doing. I do what I want. I don't care what the prompt is. I just do what I want. It's just, I think it's, um, the prompts are just there if you don't know what to draw, I think. It's more of a, it's more of a, yeah, it's more of a lesson of, Trying to get you into the habit of drawing a little bit each day and practicing. Oh, I get kisses from my husband. Thank you, babe. I'm gonna. I'm just finishing this up and I'm gonna put it in. <laughs> I told you everybody's gonna be wondering about dinner, you guys. <laughs> I'm so lucky to be married to him. It's crazy. He buys, he pays, he supports all this craziness. He's all logical and, like, pays bills and, like, all that money. And man He's a, um, operation manager. Yeah. <laughs> so, he knows how to take care of all the business stuff. 
and he lets me be like this immature, crazy artist girl. <laughs> Who doesn't really have a real job. Just kind of, I work for art, my, to pay for my art supplies and stuff, you know. Alright. So, I mean, that's cool. Every artist needs to marry somebody who loves art but doesn't know how to do it. That's all I'm going to leave you guys with. If you're an artist, find somebody who loves art and is amazed by what you do but doesn't want to do it themselves. <laughs> they have some, like, steady job. And then when they treat you good, you have to treat them amazing. Okay. Who misses Michael Jackson? I still miss him. So I just want these to be a little smaller. So we're going to kind of scale them back a little bit. My strong Remember, I grew up in the 80s, sorry. Like, Michael Jackson was huge. I also like Eminem. And, obviously, Queensryche and Iron Maiden. Don't judge. So who's going to scope so I can come watch? I don't like being by myself on football days. So if I can hear other people talking, it makes me feel happy. I do like Eminem. Honestly, it's not, I'm not from Michigan. I was born and raised in Cleveland. I've only lived in Michigan for five years. But I think Eminem is a lyrical genius. I, I think he's really smart. And he just was in his environment and how he grew up. He never had a chance to be as smart as he really was. But if I was an English teacher, oh my lord. Because the way he can rhyme stuff that doesn't even rhyme, it's pretty amazing. Thanks for joining. I feel bad. I hate that when somebody new joins and I'm getting ready to leave. It makes me very sad because I really want to get to know as many people as I can. So, yeah, it is. It is. That's why when he comes, you know, he has his issues. You know, he has his own personal issues. A lot of people do. They get in their, I think a lot of um, things that people deal with, they get in their own way a lot. Make it a lot harder for themselves than it has to be. <laughs> but I guess it's kind of what, I guess it's kind of our job as humans. You know, it's like Earth is like a big, <clears throat> our life. It's like a big classroom, and, you know, we have lessons that we have to, like, learn and overcome, so we all have our own things to deal with. If that makes sense. All right. One big brush over with a big brush of water. So I just want to fan it out a little. Lighten it up. And then I'll come back later. And add the more layers in. This layer is not going to be done anyway until I get the other layers. Because all the layers for a sheer skirt have to work together. And then see what I'll do is, this is the trick. This is the trick I'm going to show you. The secret trick. What I'll do is when I add the other layers, you take this little, let me see. You take this little bar up here. I don't know why it's so fat. And you go like this. And you start dialing it down, and then look, it gets see-through, like that this layer won't be, but the other layers get see-through, 
And then you can layer them on top of each other to build the skirt up as a whole garment. So that's the trick. <laughs> that's the trick. Which is why a lot of illustrators use watercolor because watercolor has a lot of transparency to it. And I've learned that just from watching my friends who do illustrations. No, this is um, Corel Painter 2017. I just upgraded it from 2016 last week. I need to get a softer eraser. I'm not liking this eraser. So, what, what we'll do is we make this really light and sherry, except for the edges. And then there'll be another layer that goes on top. I probably do. I have different blenders. I just use what I want. I don't, I'm don't. i still going through the 700-page manual teaching myself how to do this. I don't know. <laughs> I'm on, like, page 400 of a 700-page manual of what this program can do. Just saying. So you need to scope so I can learn. I just learn, watch and learn. I watch, learn, and ask questions, and then I try it out. So I'm always learning. And by no means a pro, I'm just teaching myself. No classes. I haven't had classes on this computer, so it's just little old me doing my thing. That's it. Oh, see? I hit the wrong buttons all the time. Oh! So, yeah, things probably take me 20 million times longer because I really don't know what I'm doing. And I'll be the first to admit, I don't know what I'm doing. This is where I'm headed. Um, I have a whole section of blenders. So there's, there's like a whole, a whole thing of blenders. So instead of doing something to go into blending, uh, yeah, there's blenders. I have like a deferred course. I could probably download stuff too, right? I don't know which one I would use. Like this one, maybe? This? What's this do? Let's see. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. This, this is how I do it. I'm like, I don't know. What's this do? And then I come in here and I just kind of... I like the water because it blends them together softly. But yeah, for making it lighter, it probably is not the best. Let's see what this does. Oh, that just blends. I need an eraser. That's what I need. So what if I got in my erasers, right? What if I did... There's a bunch of soft erasers. So let's see what happens, right? This is... Oh. Wrong setting. Thank you. This is like, this is called teaching an old dog new tricks, guys. I'm not a dog, but that's just the same. <laughs> it's just the same. Okay. So if I make this bigger. And we'll see, I, that's just like an eraser. don't like that one. What if I use this? It might be better. And so... Oh, that one's not bad. So, like, if I erase... I see. And then if I press harder, it erases hard. And I can do it softer, too. So something sort of like that. Is that what you're saying? I might have to try it. It's not bad. If I can make the layers, but okay. It's a speckle soft eraser. And this is just a speckled eraser. Yeah, I can make it bigger. Yeah. I'm just um, playing around with it. I don't want to, like, go crazy. So this one... I don't think this one will increase in size. The speckled one just stays the same. And you just kind of... That one's really soft. It's 
very gradual. Okay, see? This is how I learn. Thank you. You know, it's a sick experiment. Sparkle soft eraser. Real soft eraser. Wait, I don't have no idea what that is. See, I don't know what half these things are. I have to go through a bleach? What the heck's that do? Oh, it just bleaches it out, see? I don't know. Like, what to do? I don't know. <laughs> and then I have all these people who, like, know what they're doing going, oh my god, just like my kids do. My kids are the same way. When I try to do something, they're like, oh, don't you know how to do this? And I'm like, no. Layer blends? There might be in here. Um... Curl painter is a lot like painting in real life, so that's kind of what I like about it. So I treat the brushes and just kind of, it's not a lot of computer tricks, it's kind of like, um, I mean there are some computer tricks, I'm still learning them all, but there's also, it's just, uh, I did that like this one, I like, was this one? Yeah, see that could go light. See what that does. Uh, uh, uh. So it's a lot like painting, more so than digital art. Corel yeah. painter is more like painting. Yeah. And then I just reduce it in the in the panel. This is a the layer, and I could just slide it and you know I can make it like really light or really dark as a whole. So that's just what I do. I'm sure there's different ways to do stuff. <sighs> Hi Dandy, I saw you slip in here. I'm actually trying to get ready to leave. I hate that. Every time new people come in, I want to get to know them. But you know that. I always feel sad. I'm just playing around with this layer. It's by no means is finished and... You can tell by me playing around with it, I'm getting a little bored with it. So, when I come back, I'm probably um, doing something different. That's why I have ten different projects on at one time. Because I get bored. <laughs> so, what else do I have that I'm working on? I'm going to save this really quick, though. I have learned that. That you always you have to save a lot. Because I have um, lost entire things before it. There's nothing like working on something for like three hours and then having that three hours just disappear because you were stupid and didn't save it. Even though Crow Painter does an automatic backup for you every once in a while. You know. Okay. Yeah, I'd love to learn more about Photoshop. I don't have it. But... Yeah, see, I drew this. These are my puppies. They're my screensaver. So, anybody, anybody out of you too, anybody who's here who hasn't followed me, feel free to follow me and you'll get to see all the ends of my disasters because I just lay it all out there. It's not <laughs> Thanks for joining, Danny. I'm going to go and um, put, I'm already 20 minutes late. I need to go put my chicken in the oven. So people can eat today. God knows. If something ever happened to me, the boys in this house would be totally lost. I'm telling you. Alright, so thank you for spending time with me, everybody. You know how much I appreciate it. And I hope everybody has a creative day. And um, get out there and scope so I can watch you. <laughs> Good KFC. It's not the, that's fried chicken. I guess the closer thing would be like Boston Market, but I mean, like I have, I have um, complex butter with spices and things mixed in it, and it's shoved between under the skin on top of the chicken, and then it's all rubbed. I have olive oil rubbed on the skin with different spices to food, you know, and there's like it's just so good.
And then I take the leftover carcass tomorrow and I'll put it in my crock pot and I'll make a chicken broth and homemade chicken soup out of it. So see, it's going to be two days of yummy homemade food and then I'll make some homemade bread in my bread maker to go with the soup tomorrow and my house is going to smell yummy. <laughs> It's all what being a mom's about, guys. <laughs> I'm a so I'm such a mom. All right, I'll see you guys later. Thanks for spending time with me. Love, much love. Oh, I, how's the angle? I can't do it. I'm such a spaz. Much love, much love, much. There we go. Much love. <laughs>